Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is 8th largest element in BSD and it is an easy level problem. So the problem statement says that we have been given a binary search tree and our task is to find the kth largest element without doing any modification in the BSD. Right. So there is one very important thing that it is the kth largest element not the kth smallest. So you have to be very careful about this and if we have a look at the time and space complexity, the time complexity is going to be O of n and space complexity is O of h. So O of n time complexity like gives us an idea that we can visit all the nodes but we cannot store them in any array or vector because the space complexity is only O of h, right. So you can try visiting all the nodes but you cannot store them. This is what the time and space complexity suggests us, right. So let us see how we can solve this problem. So in yesterday's problem, we discussed a very important fact or a very important property of binary tree. So that is in order traversal of a binary search tree is always sorted, right. So this is the property of a binary search tree that the in order traversal will always be sorted. So for example, if this is a node and we have a node to its left and we also have a node to its right. So if you visit this node first, let's say this is node A and then this node B and then this node C. So all of them will be in arranged order of values, right. But so now from here you can clearly see that C is the greatest element, B is the middle element and A is the smallest element among them. So instead of visiting A first, we can try to visit C first, right. So if you visit C first, C will be placed here and then we visit the next element B. So B will be here and then we visit the last element A. So A will be here. So you see by visiting the right child first during the in order traversal, we are able to form the same array just in reverse order. Now I have shown you a very small example, but this will also recursively work for a bigger tree as well. So instead of visiting the left child first, you are going to visit the right child. And in this way, if you try to form the order, all the values will be arranged in decreasing order. Now we don't want to store all the values. So what we can do, we already have that we want to find the kth largest element, right. So what we can do whenever we encounter a new element, we are going to decrement the value of k and whenever k becomes 0, if k becomes 0, that element will be our final answer or that node will be our final answer. So our answer is going to be current node data. So let me just give you a small example of what I'm trying to say by this. For example, our k value is 3. So we want to find the third greatest element, right. So if I have a tree like this, right. First of all, I'll go to the right. So I come at this node, then I again go to the right, then I come at this node. Again, I try to go to the right. So I cannot go anywhere. So I come back to this middle node, right. Once I'm at this node, that means I have encountered a new node, right because it is an in order traversal that is why if one of the child is visited first then only the root node is visited right. So when I have come back from the right child I see that I have visited a new node. So I am going to decrement my value of k. So now my k becomes 2. Now from here I am going to go back to its parent. So this is the node. When I visit this new node my k value is again going to decrement and now it is going to be 1 right. Now I am going to visit its left side. Since I have visited a right child first, then the current node, then the left child. So I come to this node, then I try to visit its right child. Its right child doesn't have anything. So I will come back to this node itself. Now at this node, my value of k becomes 0, right. Now since my value of k becomes 0, I know that this is the node that I am looking for. And you will see that even if you have a look by the CDs, so this was 1, this was 2 and this was 3. So 3 was the exact node that we were looking for and as soon as your value of k becomes 0, you can set it as your answer, right. So this is all you had to do in this particular problem. You just have to perform an in order traversal and while performing the traversal, just make sure that you are visiting the right child first and then the left child because if you do it, then your whole array instead of being in increasing order will be in decreasing order, right. And then you can easily find the kth element. So this was all about this particular problem. And let me show you the final code now. So you see, I first of all initialize my answer variable and I'm just calling my function find, 
right so if current is null pointer i'm just going to return and i am calling my recursive function find on current dot right so after visiting the right subtree when i come back to the current node i'm going to decrement the value of k and if k is equal to 0 i'm going to set my answer as current data and after this i also have to visit the left subtree so i call my find function on current left so this is how my recursive find function looks like and at the end i can just return my answer value so this was all about today's follow of the day now let me just quickly submit this So you see passes all the test cases and the solution is absolutely correct. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you are one of them, then definitely consider subscribing. It's always free of cost and you can always unsubscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So share the channel with your friends. Until the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye-bye.